Psalm 107, verse 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Subject is healing and deliverance by the word. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. We like to quickly understand how that the word of God is a healing and a deliverance tool. And also understand how the word heals and delivers. The word of God is a healing and deliverance tool. And how does the word heal and deliver? It's plain through scripture that the word of God is a healing and deliverance tool. He sent his word. He healed them. In Luke chapter 5 and in verse 15, the Bible said, But so much the more when there is fame abroad of him, and great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed. To hear is to be healed. Luke 6, 16, 17. To hear is to be healed. Right, move to verse 17. And he came down with them and stood in the plain and the company of his disciples and a great multitude of people out of all Judea and Jerusalem and from the coast, sea coast of Tyre and Sidon, which came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. To hear is to be healed. The question is, how does God's word heal and deliver? Number one, the word is God. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. John chapter 1 verse 1. The word is God. So when you release the word into any situation, you have released God into it. When you receive the word into your body, you are receiving God into your body. And God cannot be where things are wrong. God cannot be present and something is wrong. God cannot be present and something is not good. When God steps in, everything steps up. Everything works right. The word is God. To be in touch with the word is to be in touch with God. Number two, the word is light. The beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. There was not anything, all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of man. The word is light. And you know that anywhere light steps in darkness checks out. Talking about the forces of darkness. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 8, he sent a word into Jacob, it lighted upon Israel. The word is light. Psalm 119 verse 130, the entrance of the word giveth light. So, every time you are receiving word, you are receiving light. And if, that, if the diabetes was because of a demon, demon dem, demonic forces are dark forces, they are forces of darkness. If it was a hypertensive, some from witchcraft, a diabetes from witchcraft, uh, and also whatever it is from the power of darkness the world steps in and checks out that darkness the world is God the world is light three the world is power 
every time you are in touch with the word, you are in touch with power. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4 said, where the word of a king is, there is power. Luke chapter 4 verse 32 said, and they were astonished at, at his doctrine, for his word was with power. The word is power. What is their aim of power is to make things work. Physics describes power as the capacity to do work. Is to make things work. If the hand is not working, the words gets in there, it works it. The eyes were not working, the kidneys were not working, the liver wasn't working. They are made to work by the time power from the world steps in. The word is God. The word is light. The word is power. The word, number four, is creative. In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. The word is creative. Psalm 148 and in verse 5, he said, let them praise the name of the Lord for he commanded, he spoke and they were created. He commanded and they were created. When God speaks, things are created. Things are manufactured. We also saw that in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 and 2, without faith it is impossible. All right, verse 2. For by if the elders of the report, verse 3, through faith we understand that the walls were framed, create, created, manufactured by the word of God. That is, if there is something inside you that needs to be put, to be, to be manufactured, new kidney, new liver, it can be manufactured by the word, by the word of God. That is happening to somebody right now. Even as I speak right now, somebody say loud, amen. Number five, the word fuels faith. Faith. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Romans 10, 17. Romans 10, 8. This is the word of faith which we preach. Hebrews 11, 3, what we just read. By faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. The word fuels faith and faith makes us receive from God. It causes us to receive from God. Faith moves God into action. For without faith it is impossible to please God. He that cometh to God must believe that he is and is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. We receive from God by faith. We receive the word, the word creates faith, and faith causes us to receive healing. Say, Thy faith has made thee whole. Faith makes whole, and faith comes by the word. Somebody say, Amen. Number six, the word is spirit and life. Spirit and life. John chapter 6 verse 63, it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2, and as he spake to me, the spirit entered into me. John chapter 1 verse 2, where we just read, the same was in the beginning with God. Okay, verse 4, in him was life. That, the, that same that was the word was life and the life was the light of man. So the word is spirit and is life. So if anything was dead, the, 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 the lungs are dead, the, the, the heart is dead, you hear of brain dead, you know, tissue dead, that word, that word releases life into what is not living. Somebody say a loud amen. 
Somebody say a louder amen. Somebody say a louder amen. What do we do? Number one, feed on the word. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. John chapter 4 verse 4. Let the word be a daily diet. On a continual basis, let the word enter your spirit. Let the word be prophylactic. You know what that means? There are two drugs that attack malaria. One is chloroquine. Many, many drugs that I mentioned to another one is daraprim. There is a difference between the two. Chloroquine handles the malaria that, that the person is suffering. Daraprim prevents the malaria from coming. So they give pregnant women so they don't have malaria in pregnancy. They give sickle cell and maybe a sickness so they don't have malaria and, and fever and go into crisis. It is prophylactic, preventive. Then the chlorophyll is curative. The word is both. That daily diet of the word you eat is for prevention. So you don't struggle for the affliction to come first before you begin to look for healing. You, 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 you maintain a steady diet of the word so it is your prevention therapy. Did you get that? I just use mess now to explain something to you. See, you're in, you in, you in, you in Dunamis Medical School. So you must take the daraprimic word and the chloroquinic word. All right, so maintain a steady diet on the word. Number two, pay attention to the preached word. Pay attention to the preached word. There are people who sit in church and all they are looking, I'm waiting for the prayer time. I'm waiting for the prophecy time. I'm waiting. See, it's a waste of time. Prayer can give you healing, but it is word that keeps the healing. Prayer and prophecy can give you a breakthrough, but it is the word you know that sustains the testimony. The most durable miracle are word produced miracles or word sustained. Somebody say a loud amen. Somebody say a loud amen. amen. There is a difference between visiting the university and studying in the university. Don't just visit for what to receive. Set to for what to hear. We just read Psalm 107, verse 20. He sent his word. That word is coming your way right now. Finally, number three, go for a search. We are necessary or when necessary for a search. When necessary. Scripture says study to show yourself approved of God. It will man that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth was that second timothy 3 15 rightly dividing the word of truth go on a search Two fifteen. Second timothy 2 15 study to show yourself approved go on a search i'll give you an example somebody was battling with sleepless nights insomnia he decided to go through the Bible. What did God say about sleep? So he began to research. What does the Bible say about sleep? First he saw, he giveth his beloved sleep. He saw, 
the sleep of a laboring man is sweet. What? Oh no, he was battling with every time he laid down his head, it was nightmares. The sleep of a laboring man is sweet. He giveth his beloved sleep. Can God give me sleep and put nightmares inside? No way. So from today, Lord, I receive the sleep that you alone gives. That was the end of nightmares. You go on a search. Target specific search in the area of the confrontation. Doll in school, I have the sound mind. I have the mind of Christ. And you go on a search. What kind of mind am I meant to have? When you combine these approaches, the word will be for you a tool for healing and deliverance. Right now, I announce to somebody the word that I just preached now. I decree the release of the very life of God in your life and in your system by that word in the name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say it louder, amen. Every trace of, de of demonic darkness in your body, I declare it arrested by that word right now in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft sickness, every occultic disease, every, every, every manipulation of hell in your body is uprooted right now in the name of Jesus. I decree creation. I decree power. Power is in your body right now. What is not working is working right now. And everything in your body that needs to be replaced, every organ in your body that needs to be replaced, I declare creation right now in the name of Jesus. By the power of your faith, I decree and I declare wholeness. 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 Wholeness, 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 wholeness. I decree the release of the Spirit of God, the life of God. Any organ of your body, any part of your body, any department of your body that is dead right now, I declare the release of life into that department. Lift up your hands and begin to receive from God. Begin to thank him for healing. Any area where you need healing, begin to receive the healing. Any area where you need deliverance, begin to receive it.